Hello and welcome to our discussion on cost determination using different absorption rates. We know that absorption rate is the rate at which the overheads, are overheads of a particular cost center are absorbed over the cost units. Because of the difference in the methods of absorption, the costing will be different. As a result, any decision based on the cost will also be different. So let us take an example to understand the impact of the absorptions on the various decision making. Here, the focus is on the cost profit and price. So this is a company, A Limited, which produces three products, X, Y and A. The income statement is given as below. The total sales is 2.6 million. Total expenses is 1.5 million. Of this, the material direct and labor direct is 6.7 million and 5.05 million and the rest are the other expenses or other overheads. The total profit is 1.34 million. So the company's management is happy because the company is making profit. And the company is making profit by selling X, Y, and A. The details of the cost information is also given, which we'll use later. The prime cost of each component, each product is 50, which consists of direct material, direct labor. For Y is 30 and 15. For A, it is 50 and 40 respectively. The composition of these overheads, which consists of the lighting, heating, insurance, machinery, off machinery, depreciation of machinery, insurance of building, besides indirect wages and indirect material. At present, the management is fixing the price by deriving prime cost, adding overheads, and then profit. What is the pricing strategy? The company absorbs the overheads uniformly over all products on the basis of the volume of output. It collects information from the income statement by summing up all the overheads and dividing the same by total volume of products of A, X and Y. In the process, they fix a price of 100 for X, 200 per unit of Y and 150 per unit of A. Because the company is making overall profit of 1.3 million, when sales is 2.6 million, the management is happy. Management is happy. However, the sales team is not very happy with the pricing and costing. So therefore, there is a need for us to understand, was there any problem in fixing the price was there any problem in determination of cost? At present, company is using absorption rate on the basis of the volume of output. Now let us use this information and calculate the cost per unit. So we know that cost per unit is a direct material plus direct labor, which is prime cost, plus overhead. So overhead, at present, the company is absorbing on the basis of the output. So therefore, absorption rate based on the volume of output. 
So if that is the overhead determination process, so the total overhead is 390,000. How did we get this 390,000? 390,000 as the as the case itself says is a summation of indirect wages, indirect labor, lighting, insurance on machinery, insurance of building and depreciation. We can also find that number by adding the 345 plus the indirect wages plus the indirect material. So both ways we can do this, not a problem. You can get the total overheads either from the cost sheet or the cost information or pull it up from the income statement. And the volume of output is 16,000 units. Summation of X, Y and units assembled. So therefore, the overhead per unit is equal to, of output is equal to 24.4. So that, that means one unit of output requires 24.4 rupees of overhead. So if we are absorbing the overheads on the basis of output, so the overheads to be charged to X, Y, and A is uniform, is same. So as a result, the total cost is equal to summation of the prime cost plus overhead. So the total cost is 74, 69, and 114. Since the price is already given, so the profit of X is 26 per unit. 131 per unit and 36 per unit. So as per the present calculation done by the management, not only there is a profit at the overall income statement level, it seems that all products are also profitable because each product is giving a profit of 26, 131 and 36 respectively. But however, we already got the message that the sales team is not happy with the pricing, so not happy with the cost. So the only way cost can change is by changing the absorption rates. So let us change the absorption methods from the absorption on the basis of output to the absorption on the basis of the labor. Now let us first find absorption rate using the labor hour rate. So overheads is equal to 390.040. That is not changing. And 390,000 we already know. We got it from the income statement. Or we can get it by adding indirect wages, indirect material and other expenses. So the total total labor is 5000 labor hours is 5500 hours. So overheads per unit of labor hour, this is per unit of output, this is per unit of labor hour is 70. Now we will use this number to derive the cost to derive the cost per unit and the prime cost there is no change right you see the prime cost no change but the overhead per unit is going to change because now the overheads are absorbed on the basis of the labor hour rate so one unit of labor hour one labor hour requires 70 rupees so product x requires Two units of our two labor arts to produce one unit you can see that two thousand for one thousand so two labor arts are required to produce one unit so therefore the overhead per unit is 70 multiplied by 2 
whereas for x we got 141 for y same 70.1 multiplied by the number of hours required to produce one unit of output which is 3000 divided by 5000 so 0.6 so 0.6 hours are required so 0.6 60% of the labor our rate is the overhead per unit of output in case of a 500 hours are used to assemble 10,000 units so therefore it is 0 0.05 so as a result we can see now the calculate the determinate the volumes remaining uh, the overheads absorption is changing price remaining constant the cost has changed so as a result x which was a profit making has become loss making it has become loss making because the cost has gone up the cost has gone up because overheads have gone up the overheads have gone up because we changed the absorption rate from the output based absorption to the labor rate base but now let us change further one more absorption rate which is machine hours so the total overheads once again is same no change but the total overheads is derived by same numbers from the income statement so no overhead chain but the machine hours used to produce these three products to produce these three products is 16,000, right? 16,000, which is, so therefore, machine hour rate is 24.4. But don't get confused between this 24 here. These are two different numbers. Huh? So that is 24.4 per unit of output, but this is 24.4 per machine hour. One machine hour requires 24.4. Now let us see what will happen to the cost. Once again, there will be no change in the variable in the prime cost, which is also variable. So the overheads will be the overheads will be the absorption rate based on the machine arts 24.4 multiplied by 5 hours because 5000 hours required for 1000 so multiplied by 5 so multiplied by 5 in case of y it is multiplied by 2 we can see that that 10,000 machine hours for 5,000 units so into 2 and the third one is 1,000 machine hours for 10,000 units so therefore it is 2.4 so now once again we observe that when we sift the absorption rate from volume base to labor R and machine R the cost of a x y and a are changing the change in a cost is not because the change in expenses or change in overheads but because of the methods of absorption rates change now you may ask which is a better method now that depends on the nature of the expense at this juncture we are not examining which is a better method all that we are trying to see is to observe how the absorption rate affects cost since the price is given with the change in cost the profit is changing so X Y and A were all profitable under absorption by output but they are not profitable X is not profitable when the method is changing but what's happening with the total profit and total cost and total sales observe this the total profit in all these cases is same the total profit in all these cases is same 
So 1.03 million, 1.03 million, which is same as what is shown in the income statement. So you may ask, what is the benefit of evaluating or determining the cost by changing the methods of absorption? The additional information that we get by changing the methods of absorption is that profitability at the product level X, Y and A is not same. So overall profit may be same, but we thought X is making profit, but actually X is making loss, maybe small, less or more under two different methods. So this gives us an idea that the concern of the sales team is, is, is uh, uh, um, acceptable that or needs to be addressed that there is some problem with the pricing which is based on cost and the cost is based on the income statement information and the income statement information is collected and a blanket absorption rate was used. So we assume that all the overheads are uniformly consumed by X, Y, and A. But what we observe here, that's not the case. The cause and effect relationship between overheads and output is not same, which was the assumption of the management. So as a result, we can observe that there is a possibility that Y is overpriced and also to some extent A is overpriced. So that may be the reason why the marketing people or sales people are not happy with the existing costing system. So what did we learn here? At this juncture, what we picked up that it is possible to derive the cost, determine the cost by using different methods of absorption. And different methods of absorption can be volume driven or the labor hour driven or the machine hours. But observe in this case, we did not classify or apportion, allocate or apportion and reapportion the overhead. We straight went to the absorption method and calculated the cost by using the output-based absorption, labor hour rate absorption, and machine hour. And what did we observe? That all products are not uniformly profitable or equally profitable. So therefore, there is a need to relook at the pricing so that we can actually address the concerns of the management, particularly the sales team's management. Later on, we'll pick up the same exercise and try to do the allocation, apportionment, and then absorption. Otherwise, till that moment, we will say that the cost under the different absorption methods will be different. As a result, all products will not be equally profitable, may not be equally profitable because the overheads consumed by all these are not necessarily same. Thank you very much.